Hello everybody. My name's Lee Williams. In 1978, at the age of 18, I hiked the entire Appalachian Trail from Maine to Georgia. The reason I started in Maine and came to Georgia was because I'm from South Carolina and I felt like if I was hiking home, it was less likely that I would quit because it's something that's very hard to do and quitting's on your mind all the time. But anyway, I'm posting these videos on YouTube for the help of other hikers who are contemplating doing something like that and I'm putting all 12 of my journals that I wrote in on the hike and I'll be reading these journals to you. I'm starting with journal number one and then there will be a, a different post for journal number two all the way up to journal 12 and I'll go ahead and start reading now. This is journal number one, South Carolina to Mount Katahdin, which was a bus trip. By the way, I didn't walk from South Carolina to Mount Katahdin. <laughs> South Carolina to Mount Katahdin to Monson, Maine, which was my first food drop, which was 114.3 miles, June 5th, 1978 to June 16th, 1978. And I'm just going to read right out of the journal. Monday, June 5th, 1978. Left my house, me, Ginger, who is my cousin, and my Aunt Darlene to go to the bus station at 10.35 a.m. I bought some moleskin, 75 cent at Walgreens. I spent my first dollar. And here's my bus schedule. I'm trying to get used to this webcam. <laughs> 11.40 a.m., leave Camden. 3.20 a.m., arrive in New York. 3.45 a.m., leave New York. 9.35 a.m. arrive in Boston, 10 a.m. leave Boston for Bangor, Maine, 4.45 p.m. arrive in Bangor, and then I took a bus to Millinock at Maine. <clears throat> Tuesday, June 6, 1978. And this is a different day now. Passed by the L.L. Bean place today in Freeport, Maine. I was five minutes late in getting into Bangor and I missed the last bus for Millinocket so I have to catch it tomorrow at 9 a.m. I spent the night for fifteen dollars at Claritin Inn got bored so I went and seen a movie American Graffiti came back and fixed up and got everything ready to climb the mighty Katahdin tried to get up early enough in the morning to take shower I was getting homesick until I realized that the more I start walking back toward home instead of going away from it I have $111.33 left in money. Wednesday, June 7, 1978. Up at 5.30 a.m., took a shower, then came back to the bus station to buy a ticket to Millinock at $5.75. Then went to dinner next door and had ham and egg on rye and two glasses of milk for $1.86. Can you imagine the $1.86 for all that food? That was 1978 price. Today is Katahdin Day, at last. I met Ica and Kirby today at Greyhound Bus Station. They are also hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's 3 p.m. and I'm in Baxter State Park with my tent up. Tomorrow I'm getting up real early to climb the mighty Katahdin. I'll probably hike with Ica and Kirby until I get out of Baxter. Then I'll have to start averaging my schedule of 12 to 14 miles a day. Until I get to Monson. I'm going to also start collecting newspapers and postcards of the towns I go through while on the trail and send them home in food drops. This is one of the purposes of the Phoenix Dry Storage Bag. A Mr. LaPlante, LaPlante drives us into Baxter. I pay only seven since there's three of us, so he, he must have charged $21 to drive us to Baxter State Park. Hmm. Anyway, by the way, each journal has about 10 to 12 days of entries in it. So I'm on entry number three now. Thursday, June 8th, made it up Katahdin less than four hours. Started at Katahdin Stream Campground at 7.20. Got to the top at 11 a.m. And me and John Classy, who I met, staying at Dicey Pond Lean To. I left my pack at the ranger station, so I was able to just climb up to the top of Katahdin and come back without a pack. I did 12 miles today, 5 miles up Katahdin, 5 miles down, 2 miles to Dicey Pond. My feet aren't sore at all, but my lungs and my esophagus hurt when I breathe real deep and swallow. We went to bed at 6 p.m. 
Friday, June 9th, 1978. It rains the whole time we walk. Up at 5.30 a.m., I cook some Lipton cup of soup. Wet clothes we hung up last night are still wet. Hit Herd Brooklyn too at 1.45. I bought a grapefruit drink and two packs of cheese and crackers at store at a Abel Bridge. Me and John are going to take it easy till we get to Monson. 10 miles a day. Monson is only 95 miles away and I have more than nine days of food. If I was going by my itinerary, it would, it would be six, I would be six miles behind schedule. But I'll make up for that as I get stronger from hiking. I'm going to eat Mountain House freeze dried lasagna tonight. I have shoulder cramps and it hurts when I move my arms up. I really feel bad about not calling Mama in Bangor. <clears throat> From here to from here to Katahdin is 18 miles, so I've walked a total of 18 miles so far. John fell in a river today, but luckily his sleeping bag didn't get soaked. Now here's some things I left at Herbrook Lean to because you you'd be surprised at the stuff you just don't have to have when you're hiking. Uh, out of my backpack because of weight. Braided cord for fuel cap, didn't need that. Braided cord for knife, didn't need that. Chapstick, didn't need that. Hand towel, didn't need that. Toothpaste, cut handle off toothbrush. So I kept my toothbrush, but I cut my handle off. Pre-sun, nah. Part of my bio suds, nah. My comb, why am I be combing my hair out on the outpatient trail? Part of the repair kit, things I'm sending home in Monson. Phoenix, dry storage bag, maybe. Moccasins, no way. One t-shirt, one pair of, and one pair of outer socks. Yes, one pair of underwear. After a while, you don't need underwear on the trail. Tent, maybe. One stuffed sack from sleeping bag, frame extension. Now remember, this was 1978. We had external frame packs. All right, let's see how this looks before I go any further. <clears throat> 